Welcome to Nintendo K channel. I am Danny. Evelyn. And today is something we're going back to Nintendo K Retro. It's been a while we uh, put these episodes out, but I hope you guys uh, think uh, this will be useful for you guys who's collecting. Um, it's, we had a lot of questions over time of um, how do we protect our games. So right. if you watch our game room tour, I have a pretty decent sized collection for mm -hmm. collecting for over eight years now. And, and one of the key things of uh, having a collection is how to keep them in mm -hmm. minty or mint condition. Right, and to protect them because they are, uh, because when it comes to retro, they become more expensive. And not only that, because you want to keep them as a child, childhood copy, yeah. and then you grew up playing with that game. So we've been having a lot of discussion, like Danny said. And lately, this year, we actually started to do this collecting tips series. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on it. So it's kind of... Uh, hard, but then I uh, want to share with you guys because we have to think about how do we show them or how do we do that because then he's been mm -hmm. protecting it the game for many years. many years. So I'm like, how are we going to do a, a short episode for like many years compressing <laughs> it down, right? Yeah, I want to make it easy for you guys yes. because there's a lot of trial and error that I did over the years right. and, and um, there's a, there's a, there's a maybe different ways that people do it. There's no, there's no right or wrong answer, yeah. but at least the way I've been doing it, it makes it look very well presented and you when you put it in your uh, collection and also yeah. keep it nice and safe and we're so. looking pressed I mean yeah, look if protecting it, it could be very uh, expensive too yeah well, it depends on how you protect mm -hmm. it but we're gonna show you guys different ways of protecting it mm -hmm. and um, it could be uh, the ultimate way or also a cheaper way to collect uh, to protect your yeah. collection all right so we'll get right to the games now this is gonna be a little interesting because there's a lot of a variety uh -huh. of ways to do it I'm gonna start with the Nintendo Entertainment System or the NES. This is I have here is one of my um, proud pieces in the collection. It's also my child copy. It's Super Mario Bros. 3, one of the best games on the NES, of course. Uh, it was signed by Don James, but that's more reason enough to uh, protect, protect it. it. Yeah. So uh, the reason uh, I use this one, this is actually a very uh, high quality way to protect your games on the NES because it covers from top to bottom, all mm -hmm. sides, and it, it, and the thing is it has glossy plastic finish so it, it, it does make your game shine like just like if you first bought your game uh from the, the store and it has a shine look when you uh, you know you have the the wrap around it like yeah. from the factory seal so it, it still has that charm quality but as you take it off the shelf you won't manhandle it and damage the, the box itself right so. because back then the retro games a lot of them is uh cardboard yeah and then they're very delicate mm -hmm. and uh and then you don't want to damage it because once you're a little bit crease on it, ugh, it's painful. It's painful, yeah. So yeah, so mm -hmm. um, they do come they in, do different, come in sizes, different sizes. sizes so, We're gonna show yeah. you guys all the different sizes of, of games, and they do come like yeah. Like so I'm just gonna, gonna give you, show you. This is actually how they come in. Um, so they they they're flattened out. They do have pre perforated, I guess how you call it, uh, where you could fold it. I'm gonna get, demonstrate for you very quickly. So I'm gonna go with the uh, one of the games that still uh, actually needs. Protection. So I'll just fold it out. It comes in just like a box. Self-explanatory, guys. Now this is a uh, Super Metroid. Again, one of the <laughs> great games on the Super Nintendo. I recommend this one highly. So uh, I just got I got this uh, some time ago, but never got a chance to protect it. So literally, you fold it out, you slide it in. Ta-da! Ta-da! And that's as simple as that. And you see the difference here. It looks really nice and shiny, glossy, like it's in great condition. Yeah. I mean, even if the game box is not that great but when you look at it in this casing it looks fantastic so right. another example um, the same box if you guys don't know the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 right. they both fit in the same box because their the dimensions the for the box itself mm -hmm. is the same so I have Ocarina of Time again this is one of my cherished copy it is my child as well the collector's edition I'm sure you guys see it yeah, live, stream, stream, live stream right <laughs> So if you buy the Super Nintendo, the N64 will work, will work with it as well. Another thing, is some sometimes you get odd shape for the Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. One good example that I have is one of my, again, one of my greatest games of all time for Nintendo 64 is Star Fox 64. This one includes the Romo pack. I can see they is the same material case that you saw right. and, and, and it, it's bigger. So it's just a bigger size. Yeah, it's a bigger yeah. size. So they do come um, vendors that do make custom sizes for different needs. So just look out there. I don't, this video is not um, sponsored in any way. I just want to help you guys, you know, think, uh, what's out there. You never knew this is right. an option. Because many of, many of you guys have been always, always asking us, how do you protect this? 
How do you have so minty condition? And can you help us? It's my many of questions. So uh, this video is because of you guys being asking for we uh, want to put it together for yeah. you guys. Mm -hmm. And a couple other ones that I want to show you is this unusual size for this is uh, the Super Mario All Stars Limited Edition for the Nintendo Wii. It's a beautiful uh, box, by the way. And if, uh, and thing is, this is a cardboard box, so it does get damaged pretty easy. Yeah. Um, it does. It just keep in mind. I mean, even if you drop it, it will will probably still damage it in some way. But it, at least it's much better than you hand it by hand. Um, you know, shelfware will will damage your game as well. The corners, the corners yeah, yeah, right? yeah, it gets damaged. So just be careful. It doesn't mean that you drop it. It'll be hundred percent protection here. But it does give it the upper edge in, in instead of just leaving it the way it is without any protection so that's another way to do it uh, another example on the Wii this is one of my a bigger, uh, one, right? a bigger ones I have is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword this is made for this box here this is a gorgeous uh, game by the way um, very underrated that many people didn't get to try out but I, I definitely want to protect this one it does include one of the harder to find Nintendo Wii controller in gold and obviously the uh, the, uh, the Triforce emblem <laughs> there it's awesome it's, it's, you know it's the soundtrack they? When it comes to Zelda, Zelda and gold, yeah, this is this is pure gold, guys. I definitely have to protect it. And of course, um, uh, getting off to the, the one of the bigger ones that I have in the collection. This is a nice one as well for the Nintendo Wii U. I know this is not a, a retro game, but I want to give you guys a look at some of the right. examples that are out there uh, for the Wii U as well. This is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD uh, Ganondorf figure bundle. So you guys obviously know this is one of the more prized pieces in the collection. And also because the cardboard at this mm -hmm. one, I remember it was so hard for you to find a uh, yeah. very perfect condition. Mm -hmm. A lot of them it comes ripped on the front. Yeah. So Daniel said once he got a mint condition, he must buy. I had to put a box kit for that. Because yes. these is, is a cutout. Yeah. And if you just grabbed it there, that's it. It's gonna rip or or or, or um, crease. Mm -hmm. You name it, dent. You don't want that to happen. This is actually a very delicate box, very. and this is a mint condition. So I can literally show it to Evelyn, and she can just hold it the way she wants it, yeah. and handle it by hand, and I won't be a, a worried about that. Versus you just leaving it naked, yes. if you will. <laughs> Your heart will not be hard. Like, yes. Oh, please thank you. My heart will just <laughs> just fade out. <laughs> Besides on the system, the, uh, on the games like that, they also comes. Of, they also have available for uh, handheld uh, games, systems right? as System, well. Yeah. Right? So for the handheld games, mm -hmm. uh, they do come small ones. Yes. And so we're gonna. So these are the good examples. Same gonna, size. Same size. Yeah. The same material that you saw. This is uh, for an example for Game Boy. So uh, mm -hmm. pretty neat. This is again a great game for the Game Boy system. Uh, Super Mario Land. A recommended game. I, I done a couple of. Uh, um, videos relating to this game, so you guys know how much I love it. If you uh, if you're wondering by now, there's also Game Boy Color and Game Boy Game Boy Color like this one here is the same size. And uh, just to give you guys a look at it, even Game Boy Advance, and I have here is the the Minish Cap, the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, great game also, uh, all in same sizes. So you can literally get the same uh, case and yes. and. You know, use it in different uh, generations of systems. And this is how mm -hmm. every time you guys say, like, "Wow, how did how how do you have your games are so uniform?" And that's the reason yeah. why mm -hmm. that the way it looks, it looks gorgeous on the shelf. Once you put it together, I look just like uniform, and people yeah. will be impressed. It looks it. much yes. impressive, and everything is in, in chronological yeah. uh, uniform look. Um, just to wrap it up with the portable systems, I guess you can call it portable. Is <laughs> the Virtual Boy that I have here is Virtual Boy Wario Land. And it's the same size as the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. So, I'm so happy all of that's the same that. size. Yeah, so th there's a big reason for that. I'll, I'll, I'll recap everything in a second here. So, so next of course, thing. Uh, when it comes to handheld, so we have the handheld system. Yeah. Um, we, oh, we're gonna go to retro ones. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, go so retro. They do first. make a box for all this odd shape and mm -hmm. for system or uh, console. And this one, then you have to protect it really, really, really well because yeah. it's a Game Boy that you this, grew up with. This it. is um, what happened is it's a complete box Game Boy. It has everything in it. I did an unboxing of this. So if you guys are wondering, all the links is down in the description. If you're curious to see. Um, you know where I got these from you can check it down there um, so this is a, a good example of a system box protector it looks really nice and keep it nice and tidy and minty uh, you know this is they don't make these anymore that's why I have to be very careful 
um, uh, protecting these systems. For a more modern uh, system, we yeah. do. Uh, then he wants to protect this one. Nintendo 3DS XL Super Smash Bros. Yes. Look at how nice it does look. Yeah. So that's why a lot of them he just want to uh, keep them protected like that. Mm -hmm. And also, I noticed that even if you we put this one and we display it on top of the shelf or on the shelf, the dust does not get stuck, um, right. stuck on that the mm -hmm. plastic, right? These protectors. What's great about um, if you if you leave it naked. Um, dust will accumulate yes. pretty quick, but when these plastics are put onto the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the the game itself, it kind of repels that dust. So um, dust is less of an issue when I ever put mm -hmm. these together because I realized over here, I'm like, wow, the, the, it's like dust balls and behind the the, the shelves with these right. games I, I stored up. But now. I just do very minor yes. dust cleaning and I use a Swiffer and that's my method I mean, of cleaning. I mean, even if it's no. dust on top of this plastic, you could just wipe it and you have mm -hmm. no problem. Right. But on, just think about it, if the dust is on top of the it's system itself, like the box art itself, you want to wipe it, you don't know if it's too rough and then you will scr you know, scratch yeah. it or why. So the plastic does protect it really mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, there also comes um, different shape uh, for soundtrack. You guys know that yeah. it's a big This is a good example. Yeah, soundtrack. I'm a big soundtrack collector. This one is a double uh, jewel mm -hmm. KCD soundtrack, or at least four discs, I should say, that they close two in uh, one side. So they do have these shaped as well, and I got it. The Xenoblade, uh, it's original soundtrack. It's a beautiful, beautiful music in that game. I had to get it myself. Right. So, so for those yeah. of you guys are collecting with the boxes, yeah. and then you wonder, but what if you collect loose cartridge, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, they have uh, case it for loose cartridge. Loose cartridge. So this right. is one of my proud piece in the collection. This is Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Mario, Zelda, uh, Pikmin, numerous Nintendo franchises, beloved franchises signed this copy of Super Mario 64. Um, so I had to protect this. This is absolutely a must. But so it, it's, it's exactly the size. Exactly the of, yeah, same. they come in in NES, Super NES, and this is a good example for the Nintendo 64 yes. cartridge. Just the cartridge itself. You're a cartridge collector, this is a good option for you as right. well. So um, now we move on to the least expensive. Yeah. Because I know this could be a little bit pricey, yeah. but mm -hmm. um, you, I guess you just have to budget which yeah. one you prefer, right? I do mix and right. match depending on, I feel, the value of right. things or how much I want to protect. Um, and or maybe something may, is not an option. Yes. So that's what we have to get a little creative here. So that's I'll leave it for Evelyn on this. All right. So uh, how about games, right? Yeah. So we found it's out all about the games. That, yeah, <laughs> we found out that these DVD the sleeves, yeah, right, yeah, they do protect the game, and then he mm -hmm. used them a lot. Yeah. And the reason why I left this for last because they we use them for different type of uh, mm -hmm. games. I'll give you an example. So it comes a, a, a pack of a hundred. Pack of a hundred, yeah. And it's very more affordable. Yeah, it's really inexpensive, really. guys. So yeah. this is a great way to. If you got it, the reason why I recommend this one, I put it more towards the uh, obviously the DVD games, right? Um, because I have hundreds and hundreds of, of, of uh, GameCube and, and uh, Wii Wii U games. Just an example. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of them right here. I have uh, Super Mario Sunshine, mm -hmm. and you see um, what's great about it, is it gives you the same quality of look from the uh, the hard yes. cases that we just saw earlier with the uh, with the DVD cases so then what's great about it, it's resealable so I want to take one out just an example I pull it out and you can see you can pull it out it's just a, a soft uh, plastic right. uh, it's more like a cellophane material so yes. just to let you guys know and it fits perfectly, mm -hmm. fits perfectly. And, and you finish playing with it you just reseal it with the uh, resealable tape right there. So that's great about that. Another example here, it does fit for the Wii U as well. I have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. No, it's not a Nintendo <laughs> Switch game only, guys. It's also so on the Wii U. Wii U. Yes, yes, and it's a very playable version. So there's Many no, people don't know there's that. no excuse if you don't yeah. have a uh, Nintendo Switch you, Oh, I can't play it. No, the you Wii can play for the Wii U. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another good example is this one here. This is a hefty one. This is Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Nintendo Wii. One of my proud pieces, because they had the compilation of all the Metroid mm -hmm. Primes a pass um, and, and, and on the GameCube as well uh, on this uh, compilation. It's really neat. It's a steel book and it still holds it really well and well protected. So um, and it has a shiny effect on it. You guys can take a look at that, right? Um, if you guys are wondering as well, they all I also use the same uh, cover um, the DVDs for Game. Uh, I should say not Game Boy. Nintendo DS cases. They're a little bit thicker. 
Um, but um, but the thing is that the reason why I say thicker, there's other reasons why I said that. I'm gonna get covered that in a second. So what I do is I put the the game just like the the games you just saw earlier for the Wii U and GameCube. Slide it in and then fold it down. You can see that this is it's longer than it is, but it fits perfectly. You're right. Yeah, so you won't, won't go. Tell, you won't yeah. be able to tell that it's a DVD a sleeve right. that you put for a, a Nintendo DS game. So that is a great option for those uh, those games that right. you mentioned. For those, they do have the plastic cover, like the mm -hmm. hardware, but then Danny prefers to use uh, these because he could always uh, open them yeah. and take it out and play them and put it back easily. I mean, he just found it easier for him. Yeah, I mean, if friends come in and play, right. want to play. I can just pull it out very quickly versus something like you saw earlier. So for um, the uh, talking about this uh, this plastic, they do have a uh, size for the NES and CD, right. and it do comes in a pack of one hundred. Mm -hmm. right. And the reason why is because um, what if you're collecting an NES game and you can't collect the whole yeah. complete box, right? Yeah. And then you have a loose cartridge, and mm -hmm. this is the reason why we use mm -hmm. them. So Danny does have this game. The yeah. I kept it in the, the dust cover. It's just a habit. Yeah. But the, this obviously I have Ducktales two. Uh, loose car only. This is one of the most expensive games that I have in collection for the NES, and yes. one of the rare ones in in the library itself. Very proud to have. It, by the way, I love Ducktales, um, and, and I want to protect protect it. But this is uh, without breaking the bank too much. This yeah. is a great way. This is like Evelyn said, made specifically for the NES cartridge. It's just it's like a DVD sleeve, mm -hmm. but it, it, the fold is right there. You can see it uh, from the backside. So and it looks gorgeous on the shelf as and well. And you could yeah. fit in here. It can fit in the dust cover if you're wondering. Oh. Can I put it in dust cover? I mean, you don't have to. It's already or you covered can here. Just leave it like or that. leave it like that That's and put it in the shelf. Too. Either way, it works well. Right. Uh, other example is the, with the. This is again. This is the CD uh, sleeve or NES sleeve. This is, so obviously, I have here is a Club Nintendo Mario Kart 8 original soundtrack. This is actually an import from Japan. Um, quite expensive, by the way. But I remember getting it back in the day. It's a great. The game is a phenomenal soundtrack, of course. So looks really gorgeous. You can also just peel it out. Play the music and put it back together, and you'd be okay. And uh, the same cover, just going, going, continuing with the trend here. It also works with the uh, Nintendo 3DS uh, covers as well. Yeah. So this is the Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, great game, by the way. Uh, I, I, the reason why I want to protect this one personally is because it has, it was signed by Bill Trinan. Um, one of the people who are involved in Nintendo working with Shigeru Miyamoto over the years with E3. That's how I got familiar with that. I, I, gotta, I gotta protect this uh, copy. So this is a, one of my uh, prop pieces there. So this is why I gotta protect. Well, I hope you guys found this uh, whole entire video informative and helpful in some way. There's no right or wrong way to collect and protect your games. Uh, we discussed two ways. One's the ultimate if you have a, a bigger budget or if you're someone that don't want to spend too much, don't want to break the bank, then the, uh, the cellophane or the DVD sleeves or the NES uh, CD sleeves are the best way to go mm -hmm. for it. and we still discovering ways to use everything we have to cover all kinds of shapes and sizes out there for the collecting world because you know I'm still games coming in like these odd shaped oh, super yeah. long super tall special, you know, edition, special edition. edition what it comes may be that's why we have two options available there and you won't go wrong with this so I hope you guys enjoy this episode please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy so consider subscribing to Nintendo, Nintendo K that's always helpful don't forget to hit the bell button so you get all the notifications of our upcoming episodes and live stream coming your way. I'm Danny Evelyn. at the Nintendo K channel. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you again soon.